Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Sniper Elite 5, where today we are starting a new series where we examine the historical accuracy of Sniper Elite 5, starting off with the uniforms of the different soldiers. But before we begin, I must give a massive thanks to my good friend Alex, who basically did all the research for this and was instrumental in bringing this series to the internet, so hats off to him. So, without further ado, let's get into this. First off, let's look at the accuracy of the infantrymen in the game. The infantry, of course, wear the famous M42 style helms, which would be accurate for this time period. They do wear them a little too far forward on their heads, but the actual representation of the helmet is pretty good. We see slate grey style helms worn by reinforcement troopers. This helmet is interesting because of its colour. Some M40s were painted slate grey, but no M42s were in slate grey. All grey ones are in fact field grey. These helmets are also double decal, with the historically accurate National Eagle on one side, and the inaccurate tricolour decal on the other, which was phased out in 1940, with only specialist units like the SS and the police using do double decal helmets past 1940. Snipers wear a unique style helm with burlap camouflage on it, which would have happened, although soldiers did also add actual foliage to their helmets too. The M38 side cap is worn by some soldiers and is fairly accurately depicted in game, although the colour is more reminiscent of the Africa Corps canvas colour hats, where these hats should be green in line with the rest of the uniform. What would have been more common is the M43 field cap, which in-game is incorrectly shown to feature no national insignia, which is probably due to the fact that most reproduction M43s lack a national insignia. It is also only present on the multiplayer characters, invaders or engineer officers, which is inaccurate, as in this stage in the war, these would have been much more common than the side cap. The use of these goggles is accurate, although realistically they would have been on motorcycle troops instead of spotters. The haircuts that German soldiers sport are also fairly accurate, although a disproportionate number have skinheads, which, whilst not inaccurate, wouldn't be as common as it is in-game. The infantrymen wear M36 tunics, which, although accurately depicted, were phased out by 1944. Really, they should have been wearing the simplified M43 tunics. Along the same lines, the M40 trousers are inaccurate also, because although accurately depicted with braces, they would have been replaced by the M43 at this point. Some in-game infantrymen wear an undershirt, and whilst soldiers did have undershirts, they were long-sleeved. Short-sleeved ones like this would not exist. Snipers wear hooded smocks, however the camouflage is too dark and the pattern is wrong, although the use of a smock itself is accurate. The boots worn by the infantry are very accurately modelled, with gaiters and then socks above that which would have been very common. These early war marching boots are also seen, which is technically accurate, although they are a bit too common. These gaiters worn by snipers are called Gebrigsjäger gaiters and were issued to mountain troops. They're worn inaccurately and they shouldn't be worn by the snipers at all anyway. These belts were worn by infantrymen in the war and they are shown accurately in game. These braces are also accurately shown and were used to hold up kit belts which were quite heavy by themselves. This A-frame assault pack is accurately depicted but is mostly hidden behind kit, only being seen unladen on Faust troopers. These braces are also accurately depicted, which, unlike the other ones, actually hold up trousers. These Feldgendarmery tabs are worn by the military police in-game, which is a great inclusion. However, they show Luftwaffe eagles when they should be regular national eagles. These MG13 magazine pouches are inaccurate, as no troops in the game carry the MG13. These are worn by troops with MP44s, but they should be wearing these pouches. The MP40 ammo pouches are accurately depicted, but the pouch on the left is on the wrong side. These Car 98K ammo pouches are accurately depicted, although soldiers who carry G43s wear these, where they should wear one Car 98K pouch and one of those G43 pouches, as the G43 could be loaded with Car 98 stripper clips. 
These Model D holsters are inaccurate as in Sniper Elite 5 every soldier has a pistol, whereas in real life sidearms would have been a rare thing for the rank and file to have. These magazine carriers were used to carry a pair of MG42 magazines and are accurately included. Spotters also have a special holster for the Irma M1937 flare gun, which is accurately depicted and great to see. These flashlights seen on enemies are inaccurate as they seem to be modelled after a British flashlight. They could have been captured from Dunkirk, but realistically that's quite unlikely. Gas masks can be seen hung up around walls and these are fairly accurate. Gas mask canisters can also be seen on German soldiers. The inclusion of these cans is accurate, but the cans themselves are slightly inaccurate as the sling is wrong and they lack the tab which opens the lid. Gas mask capes are also wrapped around the canisters which is accurate, although there are a few too many for a late war setting such as this. Uh, the shovels are also accurately depicted and worn backwards from regulation, which is correct, as this would stop the handle from banging against the leg. The inclusion of binoculars is also great to see. We can also see Zelt barn quarters, which were ponchos that could be combined in fours to make tents. They aren't seen in game being worn, but they are seen as tents. I think it would have been nice to see them worn in rainy levels like Conqueror or Guernsey as it would have added some detail to the game. These mess tins are seen on soldiers and are an accurate inclusion, although by this point in the war it would be more accurate to have these worn in olive drab as opposed to field grey like we see here. The canteens soldiers carry are also accurate and they are worn on the bread bag which is also seen accurately in game. Spotters wear flare bags, which is an obscure piece of equipment accurately shown in game, which is great to see. They also wear flare holders on their legs, which is inaccurate as these flare holders were only given to pilots. The engineers are very inaccurately depicted in game. These goggles are not World War II vintage, but, it, but are in fact on sale on Etsy. These boots are World War II vintage, but are from South Africa, which is not accurate at all. Engineers should in fact wear regular uniforms, possibly with black piping on the shoulder boards, which is something that was in reality used by pioneers, but if Rebellion felt the need to make engineers their own thing, they should have done this to be more historically accurate. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Remember to like, subscribe and comment, it costs you nothing and it's a great way to help out the channel. Stay safe and goodbye.